Hello, viewer. My name is Margaret Changeshi from Lockwood Girls High School, Form 4. Welcome to Science Hub. My colleagues are Esther Gabura, Eunice Sanjera. Today we will be discussing genetics. Genetics is a study of inheritance and variation. Variation refers to the observable differences among living organisms. There are two types of variation, discontinuous and continuous. Discontinuous variation is where the differences between two organisms are distinct and there are no intermediates. For example, tongue rolling, blood groups, and uh, sex. For example, I have Stella here and Esther. Stella, can you roll your tongue? Esther? Yeah, we see that Stella is unable to roll her tongue and Esther is able. This is an example of discontinuous variation. Continuous, continuous variation. This occurs in a range of differences in characteristics from one to another. We can have heights, like an example, myself and my friend here. I am short and she is tall. Now this gives a um, uh, differences range in range. We also have colors where we can have one who is black and one who is brown. Unfortunately, between us, there's none who is black, but I'm sure you can know you can know that difference. Uh, we also go to uh, DNA. We have the process of variation. We have gamete formation, crossing over, and fertilization. The chromosome. Each chromosome is made up of two parallel strands called chromatids. The chromosome, inside the chromosome, there is the gene and the DNA. As she draws, um, the chromosome is attached by a, chromo a centromere. This is a chromosome and it occurs in two pairs called homologous chromosomes and in each uh, chromatid there are um, there are locus where the genes of the DNA are located. These are the genes which determine the characteristic of a person. Moving on, we have the roles of the DNA. We have, uh, there are three important roles. One of them is that the DNA stores genetic information in a coded, in a coded form. The next one is it enables transfer of genetic materials and change to data replications. And the third one is it translates the genetic information into characteristics of an organism through protein synthesis. We now move on to the first law of heredity, which is the Mendel's first law. Mendel's first law of segregation states that a characteristic of an organism are determined by hereditary factors which occur in pairs and one of the factors can be represented in a gamete. Yeah, that's true. Monohybrid inheritance. Now this is the inheritance of a single pair, of, of single pairs, whereby we have the tallness of, and the dwarfs. Uh, an example to show the type of monohybrid inheritance, we have the typical genetic cross. We're going to have the parents, 
as the order. The male and the female. Next part we're going to have the phenotype. the parental genotype. In turning out your test first, you should make sure that you follow this order. So we'll have them in words. And for the parental genotype, we'll have them in letters. Now make sure you have a cross at the parental genotype. We're going to have uh, the gametes from. We're going to take the letters each and draw a circle around it. The same process will also apply down there to ensure that they, they fuse. You're going to have your circles well shaped and then crossed. Well, unfortunately, we're going to cross on this other side because my face. So we're going to cross. And form an offspring. Make sure after you cross, you write each one down. So as to avoid confusion. So after doing this, you're going to have the phenotypic ratio. Which is given in words. So we have uh, self. Uh, before doing this, you have to make sure that you first write this what you're doing over here. This is the first generation, which is not self. Yeah, so we have the offspring. So um, we have three tall, we have two tall to the ratio of two. Our, as a result, we have a phenotypic ratio. We have three tall and one girl. You have to write it in letters. So you're going to have one tall to the ratio of two, 
hybrid and what? Going to sex determination. So the sex of an individual is determined by genes located on a specific pair of sex chromosomes called X and Y. Linkage. This is a condition where the characteristics are inherited together because of the genes responsible for them carried on the same chromosome. Sex, sex linkage. A condition where the genes of a certain inherited characteristics are located on the sex. We have the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. Now, male, for female, they have the X chromosome, which is dominant, and uh, for male, they have the Y. Um, transmission of sex linked genes. We have color blindness. I'm going to have to aim this. We let the big C and the small C represent the genes normal for the normal color. So we have for the So we'll have the color blind for the phenotype parental. And the normal color vision. So we're going to take the genotype represented by the X and Y chromosomes for the male. For the female. So the big C represents the color blind, while the small cis on the female X chromosome represent the normal color vision. Formation of gametes.
as you can see we have the two female for girls with normal color vision and for the small c males the boys with the the normal color vision but the female had cadres which are the small c's that you have as illustrated So we have the cross test again to explain the color blindness between uh, the Y chromosome and the X chromosome between the male and the female. So we have parents and uh, their phenotype is one has color blind, that's the female, and the other one has normal color vision is represented with a big C which is the female. We have gametes formation. We cross the gamete formation, which gives the offspring where we have the two daughters who are female and they have the, they are the carriers with the small seeds, which is the color blind. And we have the male, the two boys are normal because, yeah, they have their normal. That's offspring of self. F1 formation. Practical applications of genetics will include the plant and animals breeding, and we also have the guidance uh, genetic counseling where the male, a woman who is, who is married to a man with a restless positive, also gives. A woman who is restless positive and is married to a man who is restless negative will bore a child who is restless positive. And some of the genetic uh, diseases that the child is, is, to, is to carry, is, uh, agglutination is going to take place during the birth. We also have blood transfusion, where we have the alleles A, B, A, B, and O. Uh, that's all for today. We've come to the end of our discussion on Science Hub. I have been your, I have been Margaret Angeshi. Ashton Ahedo. Yuni Sanjira. Keep it, Elimo TV, watch it.